results from her blood test show a decreased estrogen, hemoglobin in her. Hemocritic levels are low as well. Her blood cell count is above the charts. So, an infection popped blood. Looks like it. The urine test came back normal. Wait, what were the results of the CSF test again? The sample was cloudy, which seems to be because of the white cell count. It is extremely high in the cerebral spinal fluid. The levels of glucose are low, and the protein count is extremely elevated. Her red blood cell count doesn't look good. It's very low. So, it, so far, it does look like some sort of infection. Considering her mother feeds her goat's milk, and her vaccinations were incomplete, an infection would explain everything. Vaccines? You idiots! What? What? What just happened? So, how's it been that you've almost killed your child? What? What are you talking about? Not getting your kid vaccinated and then saying today care? You must be going for the Mother of the Year award, huh? No, no. I read it on the internet. The internet is wrong. Are you gonna believe every hippie with the laptop? <sighs> See, daycares are like petri dishes. Bacteria, viruses, runny noses, naughty faces, all of that. Without her vaccinations, baby was a brand new playground for them. The bacteria went up through her nose to her lungs, from there into her bloodstream. In adults, all the blood in your body circulates through your brain at least three times a day. The bacteria in the blood diffuses through the vasculature that vasculature that runs through your brain to the cerebral spinal fluid. More bacteria mean more material. More material in the brain means the brain swells. Foreman? That explains the seizure. Um, all the pressure in the brain what? makes it not function properly. Exactly. The presence of bacteria alerts the cops. More white blood cells are in the CSF fluid. That's why the sample was cloudy when we took the spinal tap. CSF fluid travels from the brain stem down to the spinal cord. Meningitis is the presence of an infection in the cerebral spinal fluid that inflames the meninges, which are three membranes that enclose the brain and the spinal cord. Put her on some cefotaxim for a specific strain of meningitis. Hook her up to an IV and then have mom over here consent to vaccinations and a counseling session so you can determine what the proper diet is for a six month old. It doesn't help that your baby's also anemic on top of having your head swell like a watermelon. No, no, no.